All right, a couple months ago, I actually reviewed this one right here. This is the Anchor Solex F3000. If you guys haven't seen that video, we actually built my pergola in the backyard, but half the pergola was built powered off of this guy right here. I really like the versatility of the F3000, and for those looking for a battery solution, whether it's gonna be on the road or at home, Anchor's having some huge Black Friday deals all the way up to 70% off some of their items. And speaking of home backup solutions, Anchor sent me this one here, which is the F3800 Plus. This one's actually going for $24.99, which is normally $47.99. Now in my video on the F3000, I talked about this being a really good temporary home backup solution, and it has wheels and it's light enough to carry around if you want to take it RVing or camping. This has 3,072 watt hours of capacity, while here the F3800 Plus comes in at 3,840 watt hours of capacity. So as far as use cases for both of these batteries, I would say the F3000 would be more for powering up your essentials at home for short-term outages, as well as being versatile enough to take on the road with you if you are out there camping, RVing. The size and weight of this battery would definitely fit those needs. Then for those looking at powering up your entire household, that's where this guy comes in, the F3800 Plus. This battery right here has the capacity and the capabilities to power up everything in your house. And like I mentioned, as far as emergencies or home emergencies, you want to have a unit that's large enough in capacity to handle all of those big loads, whether it be something like your AC unit, washer and dryer. You can even charge up your electric car. And what's really nice is that if you need even more power, even though this is a larger 3,840 watt hour capacity battery, you can add up to six expansion batteries on top of this unit here, giving you over 26,000 watt hours of power, which would be enough power to keep a standard household running for about a week. Now, before we talk about some of the things I've been using this thing for, let's quickly go over what we have here. What are some of the options we have on this unit? First, we'll talk about design. Now, even though this thing comes in a little heavy at 137 pounds, as you can see here, we have rollers and wheels, lockable wheels on the very front, and it makes it easy to move this around. So right now I have it set up right here next to uh, my water softener. And if I wanted to move this into the house, I'm able to just pop open the handle right here. There's also a handle at the very bottom, so if I have another person, I'm able to then bring this thing upstairs with me. And we have wheels here, so if you needed to move this around, position it from your garage, maybe into your house or into the backyard, you're easily able to do that with these wheels. The F3800 Plus does use LFP batteries rated for about 3,000 cycles. On the very front, we have an LCD screen with the UI that's pretty standard with Anchor. Left-hand side, car socket right there. We also have three USB-C ports. Each one of these are 100 watts, and we have two USB B type A ports. Spinning over to this side, we have 120 volt, 25 amp max. It's not a 30 amp, it's a 25 amp max port here, as well as a TT30 AC port here on the right. Here in the bottom, we have six standard outlets and the ones on the left-hand side, if you wanted to use the UPS function, you would plug in your devices here on the left, not here on the right. Spinning over to this side, this is where you're gonna be hooking up to your home panel. That's what I'm planning on getting next is that home panel as well as a switch. So when you hook up the actual F3800 from here to the panel, you can now have that full home backup going through that panel into the system here. Right now, because I don't have that switch, if I need to power anything off of this, I either run extension cords all the way to those devices, or I just wheel this closer to the appliances inside the house. We have the standard AC input for charging. Here at the bottom, we have our solar inputs. Now these are proprietary to Anchor. All right, when it comes down to solar, the one thing that the F3800 can take is 1600 watts per port. Now there's actually two ports here. Now the panels I'm using here are the Anchor 400 watt panels and we have the sun kind of passing through really quickly not exactly as optimal as i'd like it to be and these are the ports right here as you can see these are unique ones these aren't the standard xt60 ports that you would see on the previous model but these are the same ones that if you seen the f3000 model from anchor these are the same ones that they introduced there and like i said you can get up to 1600 watts of solar input per port so you can get 32 100 total. Talking about the expansion batteries earlier, you'll be hooking up those expansion batteries from here to the expansion battery and down below, we have another extended port here at the very bottom. Now what's nice with the 3800 Plus, just like we had on the F3000, as far as options for charging, you can charge this thing up a bunch of different ways. Of course, you have the standard plug here, which you would just plug into your wall outlet. You're able to get about 1800 watts of input from this port. And like I mentioned earlier, you have the solar options here, giving you up to 3200 watts of input. And if 
you have a gas generator, this supports a seamless 240 volt, 6,000 watt generator charging, which makes it ideal for situations where you might not have the ability to have solar and you wanted to charge this up during the day, you can use something like your gas generator to keep this thing charged up. And then at night, you just bring this back into the house. That option to use a fuel generator was something that we did not have on the original F3800. We have that here now on the F3800 Plus. Now, while of course it wouldn't be a long-term solution for you to charge up your EV off this battery all the time, but it's nice to know that this thing does have the ability and the capacity to charge up stuff like this, my Tesla Model Y. Now, what's nice about the 3800 is that you are able to charge up either way. You can either use standard outlet right here with the plugs on the side, or you can use the adapter uh, but the thing is you are going to need a separate adapter here to convert it. It is only a 25 amp max. You don't have a full 30 amp on the side. Now to use the 3800 for your EV, you're going to have to actually put it into an EV mode. The way you do that is to power this on. Then on the right hand side where your outlets are, their power button here, you have to actually double press that. Press that twice. When you do that, you're going to actually hear a little click. Now once you're in EV mode, I'm going to plug this to the side. Now let's use 1450 so that we can get a lot faster of a charge because we are only able to get 25 amps out of here. You don't want to have it set on the car too high. You normally want to start it around 20 and then work your way up to about 24 to 25. So now that I'm back in the car, I'm going to go to the charging option. And right now it's set to 48 amps. I do not want it to be there. What I want to do is bring it all the way down to about 20. We'll start at 20. Okay, from blue to green. So that means we are charging. Now, if I look at my display, it is starting to move. So before we were getting 1400, but 1450 uh, watts being used uh, output. Now we are at 2450. Now one feature I really like on the Anchor systems in general is their app. And I don't think it's talked about enough. A lot of battery companies out there actually don't have an app or a good app to use if you wanted to really monitor and change a lot of your settings of your battery, you're able to do that through their phone app. And there it is guys, the all new F3800 Plus, as well as this one here, the F3000. If you guys haven't seen my full review video on this one, I'll make sure to link the bubbles well down below in the video description. Huge thanks to Anchor for sending me out the 3800 Plus to review. And like I said earlier, they're having some really good Black Friday deals. So make sure you guys check out those links down below, whether you're looking for something like this, the F3000, if you want something that's home backup as well as being portable on the road, RVing, or you need something that's more dedicated for emergencies to power up all the stuff in your house. And you wanted that extra security of having enough power to last you a little bit longer than some of the smaller batteries. That's when you would lean over here to the F3800 plus. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Aldrin Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.